Hey everyone, it's Blaze FK7 and it's Big Turbo time. This is a really big day for me. Um, I've been really looking forward to this turbo install for the last couple of weeks. But more, more importantly, I've been looking at this turbo specifically for a lot, maybe like what, eight months now. The turbo I'm talking about is the RV6, R36, R30, R365 red ball bearing turbo for the 1.5 liter turbo. Um, right over here. Sorry, let me take it out of the box real quick. But yeah, I'll unbox it later when I'm getting it installed in an hour. Yeah, but basically today I'll be installing the RV6 turbo on my Civic hatchbacks. Now I already have a um, first revision tune from Derek Robinson ready to go. As soon as I get the um, turbo bolted on, I just need to get it flashed and yeah, so obviously it's not going to be very fast until I probably like what seven revisions done, but I'm really excited. I can't really just wait to just like um, put the car into sport and then just you hear the turbo whoosh from a big turbo, not to mention I've got the cold air intake from PRL, also a turbo inlet from PRL, and now the big turbo. So I can't wait to hear the turbo spool. Especially with ball bearings, apparently these sound really good. Not as good as maybe a Garrett Turbo or the PRL Turbo Kit, but, and also the performance. Obviously, I'm getting this for the performance. Um, for those of you who are worried about the CVT, I've done extensive research over the last year. Obviously, um, there is some limitations with our hatchbacks, one being the rods, which means, um, we can't push the torque as much. Um, the SIs are able to push a lot more torque with just the same mods because they have a beefier um, camshafts, um, rods, pistons. Um, so that's why we're kind of limited to around maybe 320, 330 wheel horsepower. Timoki has hit 320, I think, or 330 wheel on his Civic FK7, but he has a manual. Um, in terms of horsepower though, the uh, CVT owners are able to achieve, I think, equally just as much horsepower. It's not the C, it's not the torque, sorry, it's not the horsepower that damages the CVT, it's the torque. And also it's just how you drive it. So, um, with the big turbo, you're pushing all the stress onto the later RPMs, which is better for this, um, internals when you versus my setup right now, which is E85 on the stock turbo, which is a lot more damaging to the rods and likely to blow it up versus a big turbo. So anyways, guys, I'll show you clips of me getting it installed. All right, we're gonna flush out the oil a little bit because I need to replace it with 5W30 and then we're gonna start with the turbo install. You have to run them together. You can't run them separately. And there's the stock turbo. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to get that fixed. But stock turbo. Ooh. So now we took off the stock turbo. As you can see, the turbine's very small versus. Well, I'm gonna show you later, but it's very small. And, um, okay, so and even the, even the hardware. Hardware, we get the RV6. New studs, new oil line. You get a lanyard. Oh, sweet. Oh, and okay. And a torque. <laughs> nice. Thank you, RV6 yeah. Performance. I needed this guy. We now I'll be replacing my uh, college room key lanyard with the RV6 one. <laughs> so this is the turbine difference. So on the left side is the stock turbo and there's the big turbo. Nice. So this is how the turbo looks like once we got all the bolts in. What are they called again? Banjo bolts. Banjo bolts. Banjo bolts, banjo bolts for the coolants, banjo bolt for the oil uh, feed. Uh -huh. And then we reuse the oil drain. So this is gonna go back into the engine, uh, the- uh, Coolant or oil? Engine, uh, oil, oil pan. Got it. Uh, oil is gonna feed in through here, mm -hmm. which I gotta install and then it goes into here. Yeah. That feeds in. I'm actually gonna, no, it's a compression fitting. Yeah, you don't need a, uh, Teflon tape for that. Um, 
we're gonna make that new oil free line for you. Mm -hmm. um, uh, oil free coolant, coolant, coolant drain yeah. line. For here, uh, this is gonna be reused and replaced. I'm gonna put that over and then we're good. Nice. Okay, here. There we go. Let me just need to bolt it in. Nice. All right, everybody. So we've now got our turbo in the back on. Got our charge right back on. We have our turbo installed. Now we're just putting new oil. So you can't be putting in the OEM 0W20. Now that you're putting in, I think, OW30 5W3. or, or sorry, 5W30. These are the ones that we're using today, mobile. So yeah, after that, we're just gonna flash the car and uh, give a test drive. All right, now I'm just gonna go flash my revision one tune from Derek Robinson and um, my car will know how to respond with the new turbo after this. Sauce for a second, but we're just burning off the coolant that we spilled. Okay, all right, yeah. That looks hella sus, <laughs> but it's okay because we spilled coolant. Um, of course, this catalyst smells like ass. Oh yeah, I put the RV6 performance sticker on the um, you can spoiler because I didn't like the way it looked around my diffuser. I like to keep this a little bit cleaner because it's already looking so aggressive. Okay, so we've installed a new big turbo, but I also did some minor things. So this was a little bit loose, but I finally got that clamped up. Also, my mechanic, Dan, he did a very good job fixing my, I think, a little skid plate or something, whatever. I was scraping everywhere and I thought it was because I lowered it and also because I have a splitter, but apparently it was that. And I haven't scraped since I got here, which is good. Also, fender liner is now fixed before it was poking out. Oh, <laughs> I'll replace my side marker soon, but um apparently i have a exhaust leak which is minor um i just need to replace my downpipe gasket which i've ordered a new one and i'll be getting it installed this weekend so until then i'll be waiting off before sending any revisions to derek robinson but yeah um oh yeah i did some quick sound clips earlier i was just driving and you can just even now, like when I was flooring it, well, I only I didn't floor it. I only floored it like once when I was getting it up to speed on the freeway, and I instantly saw the RPMs just like, <laughs> like go straight. Like it went all, they went through the roof, and I was really surprised. And remember, this is on very low boost. This is revision one, so Derek Robinson is using this as a base to just get data and just um get like a better idea of how like my car responds with this turbo. Not to mention when I go. E85 on this car, it's gonna go even crazier. So, right now, it feels like this is probably just maybe 200 wheel horsepower. If it's definitely not as fast as my previous tune, but once all the revisions are done and my exhaust leak is fixed, I'll give you guys more updates. Until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.